Peter. I thought I raised a healthy boy, teaching him the importance of a balanced diet. I thought he knew the consequences of heavy alcoholism. But no. I knew he was stressed in school in his teenage years, but some and sometimes went out with friends to take his mind off things. I thought he was healthy. He would take a drink or two once he started working, but I th didn't think it was excessive. I noticed his eyes would sometimes shift back and forth, but he, and he seemed bored when he came to visit. But I thought he was just tired after working such long hours. He walked with short steps and his stance was wide, but age could do that to anyone, right? It just breaks my heart I didn't realize the symptoms as abnormal. It's just so upsetting. Hi, I'm Sam. And I'm Pam. And the symptoms that Mrs. Piper described are associated with a neurological disorder known as wernicke korsakoff syndrome. Due to the severity of the disorder, Mrs. Piper's son Peter has entered a coma and is now in the intensive care unit. Peter's condition can be broken down into two sections, Wernicke encephalopathy and Korsakoff syndrome. Wernicke encephalopathy is characterized by confusion, ataxia, or impaired movement, and nystagmus, which is side-to-side -side or up-and-down eye movements. This syndrome can then progress into Korsakoff syndrome, which is classified as learning and memory deficits. Together, these symptoms can be combined into a single disorder known as Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome. 89% of survivors of severe Wernicke encephalopathy who remain untreated go on to develop Korsakoff's. The main cause of this disorder is a deficiency of the vitamin thymine. This can be due to a lack of proper nutrition and is common in people with chronic alcoholism, which affects the ability to absorb thymine into the stomach. Wernicke Korsakoff syndrome can also be associated with any condition that causes malnutrition or affects thymine absorption, such as improper diet gastric bypass surgery, starvation, intestinal obstruction, and colon cancer. There is also the possibility of a genetic component. But what role does thymine have in the brain? Brain cells require glucose or sugar as fuel, but it must be converted into a useful form of energy, and thymine is involved in this conversion. It is absorbed through the stomach from the food that we eat. The brain cells convert absorbed thymine into a product, which helps specific enzymes convert glucose to a form of energy called ATP. The brain uses ATP to complete cellular processes. Decreasing the activity of these enzymes result in decreased ATP synthesis, which contributes to cell death and damage that can be manifested through the symptoms of Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome. This includes damage to areas of the brain involved in eye movements, muscle movements, and memory. Symptoms typically manifest between the ages of 30 and 70. Through brain scans of these patients, selective cell loss has been seen in areas of the thalamus, mammillary bodies, and cerebellum with the vestibular and oculomotor centers commonly affected. At first, I just felt him becoming more distant. He became apathetic to everything. It just seemed like he didn't care. Then whenever we would try to talk about it, I just noticed his eyes would roll side to side. It was just not normal. One of the first targets for damage is the ocular motor system. What Peter was displaying during the early stages of the syndrome was nystagmus. You see, nystagmus is a back and forth involuntary eye movement. There is a structure within the middle part of the ears called the vestibular apparatus containing canals that detect head movement in space. The information about head movement is then sent to the vestibular nuclei and other centers in the ocular motor system allowing conjugate eye movements in normal individuals. But in the individuals with Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome, there is a lack of thymine in the brain causing an alteration of these inputs and damage to the vestibular nuclei. This causes a mismatch in the vestibular inputs, meaning that the one canal in one ear is telling the brain different information than the other canal and the brain produces nystagmus eye movement. The input of the vestibular system causes his eyes to shift during the slow phase and then reset quickly in the orbit during the fast phase. One way to identify the early signs of oculomotor damage due to Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome is by performing the caloric test. In normal comatose patients, the caloric test will evoke this side-to-side -side eye movement, but in Peter's case, no movement was seen 
indicating he has damage to this part of his ocular motor system in the brainstem. Ataxia, the lack of ability to control and coordinate muscle movements is associated with damages to the cerebellum, which is located in the lower back area of the brain. One particular area that is damaged in the case of alcoholism is the cerebellar vermis. The vermis is located in the central region of the cerebellum and is sensitive to the deleterious effects of thymine deficiency. Thymine deficiency contributes to a decrease in the number and size of the specific cells in the cerebellar vermis that play a role in controlling muscle movements. In some patients, permanent memory deficits occur. The main area involved in memory is the hippocampus, which sends information to the mammillary bodies, then to the thalamus and cortex where long-term memories are stored. In Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome patients like Peter, a decrease in thymine levels leads to a decrease in energy, particularly in the mammillary bodies causing damage. Damage or degradation to the thalamus or mammillary bodies can lead to anterograde amnesia, the loss of ability to create new memories. This occurs because memories cannot complete the pathway to be stored in the cortex. Patients with severe memory deficits often try to fill in the blanks in their memory using made-up events through a phenomenon known as confabulation. This damage manifests in Peter's wide base stance and short steps in walking. In other cases, patients may display slow shuffling and in worse cases, inability to walk on their own. Diagnosis includes taking an in-depth medical history, looking out for causes of thymine deficiency, and physical examination for expected signs as mentioned previously. Testing blood samples can identify thymine deficiency. Regardless, prevention is the only foolproof method to avert Korsakoff's. If the condition is caught in the earlier stages, it can be reversed with balanced diet and abstinence of alcohol. Thymine-rich foods such as meat, beans, whole grains, and thymine-fortified bread should become a major part of the diet. Symptoms such as nystagmus tend to be reversible with treatment, but more severe damage of brain areas, particularly involved in memory, is often permanent and memory deficits will persist. Patients who have been diagnosed with Korsakoff's need to be given thymine immediately. Changes in mental status can start to show improvement within two to three weeks. Patients suffering from Korsakoff's generally end up in long-term care homes. They are commonly much more aggressive than other patients with dementia. Peter, time for your medication! Remember, life will pass you by. Know the signs. If you or someone you love is suffering from Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome, please contact 1-800-565-8603 or visit the Family Caregiver Alliance.